Hey beautiful YouTubers, it's Tess and Arya, and um, I had a request to do a mottling tutorial. Now, Arya is a completed baby, but I'm still going to try to help you guys out. Um, so the first layer of, so the first layer I do is the vein blue, and you know, that's the veins on the head and on the hands and everything, and then I do the skin tones, and sometimes I'll do just the tiniest bit of blushing. Um, before the skin tone and then after that I do the mottling layers. The first mottling layer I do is a very 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 extremely very thin <laughs> pink color. Um, I get the pink just from the Genesis Red sometimes adding a little skin tone to it depending on the baby and depending on I don't know. I, I try to be creative and um, and then I use the small sponge, the very fine sponge. See how this compares to... Now you want to use this side of a big sponge for the other modeling, not this side. You want to make sure the holes are kind of like that. It's hard to explain. But yeah, so the pink layer is super, super thin. You're hardly going to see a difference, but it just gives the skin a really, really, really nice texture. That's the pink layer, and that one I, like, just invented, um, or just thought of to do. Uh, then is the purple mottling layer. You can either do Genesis Red and the tiniest bit of vein blue to get like that blood red color, or I found Brow Brown works to my liking a little bit more. And um, with this one you're going to use the more, this sponge, um, and you're going to go, you have to roll it on the baby, kind of like that, and uh, you're going to want to blend kind of around the cheeks but like wait about a minute or so um, so you don't get you get less of a blush and more of you know just dabbing up making the mottling more subtle around the cheeks like there because you'll be putting capillaries there and you do have mottling on top of the hands and on the fingers but not on the bottom of the hands same thing with the feet you can go on the top of the feet and then the next layer of mottling I do is the yellow mottling, sometimes mix, sometimes more of an orange because I just use whatever paintbrush I used for the purple, so and it kind of turns it like orangish or darkish. Just any variation of yellow will work as long as it is super, super thin. Now this one, you're going to do the same thing where you roll it on the baby, but it's more blended. You're going to go back and like blend every little bit of it, and you're it's going to end up being more like little yellow splotches here and there, and it looks so realistic, like you can kind of see... Oh, she's so beautiful. Okay, and then finally we have the um, uh, blood red color. Wait a minute, I think I, when I explained the purple, I, I was mistaken. It's actually, you, you do use the vein blue to make purple. But with this layer, you get the blood red color. Um, so it goes purple mottling, yellow mottling, or pink mottling, purple mottling, yellow mottling, and then red mottling. And I use the brow brown to get it that deep red blood color. And it is very, very thin because you want to be able to do this one without having to blend it too much. Um, but you're probably going to have to anyway, just uh, mostly around the cheeks. And then a lot of people kind of uh, overlook this, but capillaries are very important to the realism of the baby. I use this, this sponge, and I'll do on the sides of the cheeks. You see she has that. And then on top of the nose, on the chin, and on the other side of the cheeks. So yeah, those are the variations of sponges and mottling that I do. And then to give it that great finish, I normally add a little bit of skin tone, whatever I want the baby to be. Um, like I would actually, I actually added like a warm blush, almost, and it almost kind of worked like a bronzer with her because she's got like this beautiful golden complexion. If you want a paler baby, just add a little bit of skin tone, and it also helps you to see that you are actually using paint because matte varnish is clear and you can't really tell where it's going. So yeah, hopefully that's helped you guys. Um, love you, and I love her. She's so adorable. Alright, love you guys. Bye.